Hey guys, so it is getting awfully cold outside and I know that your favorite thing to eat, like my favorite thing to eat, is soup when it's cold. But the question is, what is your favorite soup? Because mine is the chicken gnocchi from Olive Garden. So I'm pretty sure you know where I'm going here. We're going to try to remake it. So for this recipe, obviously I'm not making my own gnocchi. That's not happening. But I have some store-bought gnocchi that I'm going to use. A little bit of onion, fresh garlic. A lot of fresh garlic um it does call for like carrots and celery but i got this broccoli carrots cabbage slaw which i think will be just as good i have my chicken bacon in the oven and then the spinach goes on top at the very end like to melt in so i'm gonna cut that up so let's get into making this when i was talking about things that i needed i totally left out chicken broth cream flour and seasonings. Who am I here? An amateur? Actually, yes, I am. I'm not a professional chef, so please don't take that as such. That makes everything so much easier, so I am going to prep. These are already washed spinach, and I am just going to give them a little rough chop because I don't like when there's big pieces of spinach in my soup. I just want some light spinach, you know? So, ooh, like little ribbons of spinach, yes! And then we'll just throw the little ends away. And then I will chop up the onion next. So, mind you, my onion is frozen. Because I don't use onion too often. So I leave it in the freezer. And I just take little pieces of it when I need it. This doesn't require too much onion. I feel like that's good enough. It's just for flavor. And I'm not making like a huge pot. I'm just making like a small pot. So... Next is garlic. I am going to use a lot of garlic. Do not judge me. I am a garlic girl. I love me some garlic. It's the best. I feel like this one really small head of garlic is more than enough. So let me just... And then you know the drill. I'm just going to depod this. I don't think you want to see that. It's long and more. Okay, now that all of my garlic is out of its little thing, I didn't end up using that whole head because that was going to end up being a lot. We are just going to chop up this onion. Yeah, give it a nice little rough chop. Boom, little cubes, cool thing. I think it's so much easier when it's frozen to work with. I don't know, maybe that's just me. And then we're just gonna give a little bit, you know, a little slice, slice. To the garlic I am NOT a professional chef in any way nor do I claim to be so do not come at my knife skills they are not the best but they get things done here for me in my kitchen so once we get all of this nicely chopped up we are going to start making the base of our soup and then I think the chicken is almost done cooking too so it will come together really fast. Okay, so first we are going to add to our pot is a few tablespoons of butter. So that way we can start that melting. And before you all come for me for using too much garlic, let me tell you this. You can never use too much garlic. It is cold and flu season, and do you know what prevents you from getting sick? Garlic. Just so you guys know. And I'm going to melt these down. Once you start melting down, I am going to add in my chopped garlic and onions and some spice okay now that all of our butter is melted i am going to add my garlic and onions to it and we're gonna like cook them down a little bit also i'm gonna add the broccoli carrot slaw to it too to let those cook down i'm just noticing that i did not chop this garlic up very well so i'm just giving it a little bit of a rough chop just to make sure that all the pieces are nice and small ish small ish because i love big pieces of garlic in my soup but not everybody does that's just me so i'm gonna throw this in here like that and then 
let me get my broccoli slaw to put it in here as well. Oh my gosh, this broccoli slaw smells so amazing. I know that broccoli isn't in the original recipe, neither is cabbage, but yo, adding a few extra veggies is really not going to hurt anybody. So, there's that. So, I'm going to let these cook down until... For about like four or five minutes until the veggies start to get soft because they're still really hard right now but all of that garlic smells amazing i don't feel like it's going to be too much garlic just because of all the veggies that are in the chicken broth the cream that we're going to add just everything that's going to be in this i don't feel like these veggies are going to be or that garlic is going to be overpowering in any kind of way so let me let this cook and i'll be back in a few minutes So everybody seems to thicken the soup at different times in all the recipes that I looked at, but I'm going to add a little bit of flour in now, um, which is going to act as a thickening agent. So I'm just going to add a little bit of that right now. And then we're going to add, hold on, let me just cook that flour down a little bit with those veggies. Oops, I've got a few min overboard. So we'll cook that down just a tad, like that. And now we are going to add the delicious chicken broth. So I have a brand new thing of chicken broth, so we're going to add this in. To about part way and then we're gonna let this come to a boil and then we're gonna add some of our chicken our gnocchi in and then the chicken so let us let this heat up okay so this is like slowly coming to a boil I'm going to now add in my chicken And then my gnocchi and then we're gonna let it cook for like 10 minutes and then we'll add the cream in and then after the cream we will add in my yummy spinach the spinach should be the last thing you add spinach cooks so quickly keep that in mind so let's add the delicious gnocchi in oh you guys this smells so good like you have no idea what this smells like right now. Boom. Also, I want to add in my seasonings right now. So we are going to add in some thyme, some pepper. It has onion and garlic in it, so I'm not going to add any of that. I do want some salt. And then let's give it a mix. Oh yeah, she thick. Break all this up. I probably should have used a bigger pot for this, you guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. I may have put way too many veggies, way too many everything, but it's gonna be so delicious that I don't even care. Let's break those gnocchis. This is going to be more like a stew, I'm feeling like, then it's going to be an exact, maybe I'll add some more liquid after I add the cream, which is going to make it so good. Just make sure it's all broken up, maybe give it a stir, okay. So I'm going to let this cook um, for about 10 minutes and then we'll be back. Okay, you guys. The gnocchi have like plumped up. I don't know if you guys can see that. And this smells so good. So now it is time to add our heavy cream, about a cup. And then let's give this whole thing a stir. Oh my gosh, you smell in flip incredible. And then throw in the spinach. Oh, that spinach is gonna cook down so nicely, so quickly. 
just throw in the rest of the spinach. Who are we kidding? Who are we kidding? Oh my gosh. So, did I add a bunch of more vegetables that weren't in the original soup? Yes, I did. Is this going to be super healthy for you? I don't know if it's like going to be per se healthy, healthier. Sure. I mean, it does have butter, potatoes. But, I mean, like, I feel like all the food groups are pretty much recognized right here. So I'm going to get a bowl and bowl some of this up to eat some of it. I'm going to let this cook, the spinach cook down just like a couple more minutes. And then we are going to ladle this bad boy. In classic Olive Garden form, a Parmesan cheese on top. I am usually the type to be like, um, Parmesan cheese until there's nothing left in that little roll thing but you know whatever just a little sprig of it and then let's try it okay now is the moment of truth we are going to give it a taste let's see let's see yo that is just the broth oh what what I'm not saying it's better than Olive Garden. I'm just saying, chef's kiss. So if you guys want to try and make it, it's super easy. I say give it a shot. It's so good. Obviously, it didn't take me too, too long. So I hope you guys enjoy. See you guys next time. Mm.